So I've been getting asked a lot of questions recently about uh, what to do when you're growing your beard out, specifically to do with the hair on your neck. Um, it's a bit of an open question because it depends what you're doing with your beard. For instance, if you're growing out a full, long beard, you're going to want to keep as much of this as you can because that's what's going to give you your thickness and the length in your beard in the end. However, I know that when you're growing it out in the process, this can end up looking quite scruffy. So I'm going to give you three options that you can go down and I'll explain which ones help you best, um, why they will suit you better and why one of the others might suit you better other than that. So first up, the easiest one is you could just go in and you can actually cut uh, a neckline into your beard. The only problem with this is if you're doing it yourself and you're not that confident with clippers is I've seen it a lot in the past that people take it too high and it ends up ruining the shape of the beard. And as well as that, it's a lot of upkeep. I mean, if you've got dark hair like me, you're gonna end up shaving that every two, two to three days, just to keep it looking nice and neat. The other option you've got, if you can take it, if you're growing out a full beard, would be to just let it grow. Because like I said previously, that is gonna give you a thickness in your full beard. Yeah, it's gonna take some going because you're gonna, you're gonna look quite scruffy for a little while, but, if you can hack it, that's going to give you your best result because it's going to give you that body and it's going to give you that thickness that's going to give you the, the full beard that you're after. Now, the technique that I'm going to show you today is quite low maintenance. It looks tricky to do, but it's really not. Uh, and that is a taper. So what we're going to do is literally knock out these bottom hairs here and blend them into the existing length that you've got at the moment. Uh, you don't need any fancy equipment for this. You literally just need a set of clippers, preferably with a tapering arm. It's not the be all and end all. If you haven't got them, you can do it with just clipper guards, but this will just help you to get some more length out of your clippers. And then depending on the length of your beard you've got already, you just need a couple of clipper guards. I mean, my beard's not overly long at the moment, so a one, two, and a three will probably suffice for me. Okay, so what we're gonna do to start off with is no guard on your clippers. And you're literally just gonna just the very bottom of this line, you're gonna knock out with a zero, working it up. So I'll show you what that is now. Okay, so you're working half an inch, a quarter of an inch at the max. And the longer your beard is, obviously the less hair you wanna take away. You're literally just wanting to blend that bottom line out. Like I said, if you're having a shorter beard, you can get away with taking it higher, but my, because I'm growing my beard out full, I want to keep as much length here as I can. So I've literally just knocked that out to a zero. So the next thing you're going to do then is put on your grade one and push that line up slightly higher. Okay, so that's now you've got your zero and you've got your one. This is where the tapering arm is going to come in handy because if you have got a little step in between the zero and the one, you can take off your clipper guard and you can push this tapering arm up. That then gives you a half grade effectively. So you can then go in and just knock out that tiny little line. Okay, I mean, it's, it's getting there already because I say my beard's quite short anyway. Uh, but you're now you're just going to keep working through the guards. You've done your one, your next up is a two. So you're going to do exactly the same, pushing it up a little bit by a little bit just to get that tape in. The same again with this grade. If you have got a tapering arm on your clippers, chuck your one back on, open up your guard, and work back in that line again. Okay, and then you just keep repeating this process until you've hit the length that you want to go to. 
and it's all blended in. So I'm just gonna chuck a three on. I don't think much is gonna come off, but this would literally just be the finishing off. Grade two back on, give an open guard. And just kicking that line out. Okay, so there you have your taper. I mean, it needs a bit more work, it needs a bit more refining, but that is essentially the basics of a taper. Uh, the pros to this is it's once it's done, it's very low maintenance because it's all going to grow out gradually with your beard. So you could leave it a week, or two weeks, however long you want. If you're growing your beard, you can leave it, and that is it's not going to give you any harsh lines. It's not going to wake up tomorrow with stubble all over your neck. It's going to gradually grow out with the rest of your beard. Uh, the only bit of advice I would give you is if you're not used to using clippers, you're not very comfortable with them, just take it slow. Do it a little bit by little bit. Don't go taking big chunks out of your neck. But if you've got any questions, drop me a message. Um, and yeah, I'll be happy to answer them. I've recently become an ambassador for The Beard Struggle. If you don't know who they are, check them out. They've got some great products uh, from beard oils, to beard balms. And if you've got a long beard, they do heated beard brushes, which I've definitely got my eye on getting. So have a look. Um, if you see anything you like, you're more than welcome to use my code. It's Dean10 to grab some discount. Uh, and if say if you're liking more videos or you've got some more questions, just drop me a message. Till then, stay safe, stay healthy, and look after those beards.